So what got you into personal training? What took you down that path? Um, so interesting. So just like Bao, I never knew I was going to be a personal trainer. Um, went to university because, you know, that's what you do as a WOG. That's, <laughs> that's the go-to straight after school. Yeah, that's what, they go, that's what you go, go educate yourself. I'm like, okay, I get you, but I don't really know what I want to do. So I went to uni, um, did my first semester, uh, well, first two weeks and I was doing full time. And then I just couldn't, like, it was nothing like I could get into. So what were I, you studying? I, I was going to do an arts degree. Okay. So I, you don't even know what you're actually doing in an arts degree. You're just figuring um, it out. Yeah. Studying. And that's just not how I do things. So I could never find any purpose in it. So I dropped three subjects and then just studied Greek because I was like, maybe as well okay. learn some Greek. Oh, nice. And it could go to my my uni degree if that was the case. And my yaga will be happy with myself. So why not kill two birds with one stone? Nice. So during that month of um, university, um, yeah, just did it, just went along with the flow, was working at Woolies, you know, and um, coming to the end of the, so I was doing part-time for like that whole year and coming to the end of the year, I had this moment, I remember being on the, like, in the lounge room and um, I thought to myself about like I looked back at my whole year and I remember thinking to myself Stacey you're a person that loves to go all in like why aren't you going all in and it was because like I just had no drive to do it like there was no like energy to go all in on it so then I was on Instagram funny enough and like I have this Instagram role model Elizabeth Lopez uh-huh. I don't know if you've heard of her have you heard no, of her I haven't no so she's like a fitness role model at the time and like she's all about like the feminine curves and like that's how you get into fitness usually it's about the body and um (laughs) and I was like oh I love what she does and I love her business model she has this hourglass workout it's a franchise model and Mm -hmm. then I thought to myself why don't I open up my own franchise like hourglass franchise that was very yeah and like from that to open up a franchise love it i don't know yeah you can <laughs> nice <say that. laughs> and then um first step i was like okay what do i have to do to actually get there and i'm like oh i have to become a personal trainer and then boom that's how we started <laughs> and how long you've been doing that for now so I've been doing it for five years and I've actually met Lizabeth Lopez within those five years and I interned with her for 10 months over in Canada. So I was living overseas for, um, right. for over a year and um, yeah, and I got to experience the whole concept and going over there, it wasn't, I didn't actually decide to take on on it and bring it over here, but I definitely um, learned that whatever you set your mind to, you can do it. So mm-hmm. That's what I learned through that experience. Okay, Okay. because you said that you're the type of person that sort of goes all in. And mate, from that story alone, I can tell you went all in and you went all in (laughs) fast. I mean, is that just everything in life? Do you think that that's just how you have to roll? I think definitely, yeah. You just have to go for it because sometimes you can just get doubt in your head and that's just, Mm -hmm. you know, the words of the enemy as we say it in church. Um, But yeah so I had a mentor during that time when I was working over at Vision that was my Vision personal training that was my first place I worked at Mm -hmm. and I told them about my goals and one thing that they said to me Stacey they're like you just got to pick a date and do it and these people are up there they've got their own businesses so I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to these people as a 20 year old (laughs) so yeah I just took on that advice and then just went for it and I got the internship so I'm wow. very thankful for those people. <laughs> okay, so you go over there, you do your internship with uh, the person you look up to the most in this industry. You yeah, come at the time, back, yeah. yeah, at the time. And you come back and you're just sort of like, okay, I've just done something sort of insane. I've spent 10 mm-hmm. months overseas with someone that I only looked through on a screen and now you're back. What's your next step? What do you do? What's my next step? Well, um, I come back home, zero money in the bank account because... I was living off ends meat in Canada. You only make like $12 an hour. <laughs> oh, dead set. And I, yeah. And like, I remember living off like 800 bucks, like two weeks. And most of it was going for rent. Cause I was like, I'd rather live in a nice place and not have any regrets and eat like. You do it right. Food. Yeah. You do it right. Yeah. 
and that helps with the whole fitness thing as well not eating too much there you go yeah exactly two birds one stone love it and um yeah what were we we saying yeah and then come back no money so someone offered me a job straight away at f45 so went to f45 because i knew the person and i was lucky to just work there for about six months and during that time i decided to open up my own little business and that's how we came to um Strong by Stacy. Well, it used to be Stacy B Fit, but the Strong by Stacy business you see today. 